This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And good evening. We begin with that breaking news tonight. A fight at Castleton Square Mall ends tonight with several young people under arrest. Jenny Runovich joins us live from the scene after talking with police tonight. So, Jenny, what have you learned? Well, Scott, we can tell you the good news first. No one was hurt here, but there was a huge police presence over at Castleton Square Mall earlier. Seven teenagers were arrested, and then even the McDonald's that sits across the street from the mall was closed so that teens couldn't congregate there after they were removed from the mall. This whole thing started after several huge fights erupted at the mall involving kids as young as 13. Police responded quickly. Dozens of patrol cars called to Castleton Square Mall to break up multiple fights involving hundreds of teens. Witnesses say the first broke out next to the Santa stand. Oh, we How just many? heard screaming. There were dozens of kids that were running towards, uh, towards the fight, the center of the fight. And then in the food court, it was the same thing. And then there was a third fight, actually, that broke out a little bit later that everyone kind of ran towards. Metro Police say six off-duty officers inside asked for help when the teens got out of control. Reports of gunshots in the parking lot, too. Officers heard the shots, but no one was hurt, no shell casings recovered. Experience tells me that th these folks had some kind of beef outside of the mall, and that they met here and decided this is where they were going to try to take care of whatever beef they had. 13, 14, to maybe 18. Uh, no parental supervision. Police broke up the fights within minutes and arrested seven juveniles, six girls and a boy. Witnesses say these were young kids compromising shopper safety. Simon Wall, the store owners, the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department are not babysitters. We expect and hope that one, you're going to have children that are respectful of one another and the rules and that, it, that maybe we should think about being these kids being more closely supervised by their parents. Now, police told us that after they cleared the mall, shoppers said that the mall was not letting anyone under 18 inside unless they had a parent. Some shoppers told us even people under 21 weren't being let in without a parent. Meanwhile, those teens under arrest tonight face battery and resisting arrest charges. Also, police say that this normally here at Castleton is a very safe mall, that the mall takes every step to ensure security, multiple steps to ensure that from officers to security cameras, etc in the parking lot. However, it's not clear if any more security will be added after what happened tonight. Scott. All right, Jenny, thanks so much for that update. And tonight's fight isn't the first time that we've seen violence at Castleton Square Mall. You remember what happened a couple of years ago? Look at this cell phone video that showed teenagers fighting each other in the food court. This took place in January of 2015. Thankfully, nobody was injured that night. There have been other reports of fights breaking out at shopping malls across the country today, including Denver, Cleveland, Manchester, Dallas, and Pittsburgh. Some malls were forced to evacuate today. Others, though, have closed down for the evening.